Welcome back to Five Days a Stranger. I am the Blues 32, and that's me, Trilby. It's locked. God knows where they found the key. It's stuck shut. Hello? Is anyone out there? Quiet. Simone? Is that you? Yes, I'm keeping guard. Why? Shut up! You killed Philip! Don't even try to deny it! I did? Don't play games with me. I'm keeping guard here until the police get into the grounds. Then I'm handing you over. Simone? What have you done with my tie? It was Jim's idea. We took it off so you wouldn't hang yourself. Why wouldn't you want me to hang myself if I'm such a cold-blooded killer? Jim seems still seems to think you might somehow be innocent. That boy really admired you, you know. I'm filled with shame. I'm sure. Simone? Where's Jim? Why do you want to know? So you can track him down and kill him? Um, why do I want to know? He could be in terrible danger. I know. Till the police have you handcuffed, we all, uh... He knows that I'm innocent! Does he? You almost hacked him to pieces with a machete. I think he'll have taken that into consideration. Did I? If you left him alone, he's already dead. Shut up. The real killer's still out there. He could be creeping up on you even as we speak. I said shut up! You're making a terrible mistake. Oh, am I? Why is that? The police will never get in here. The house will only let people in one by one. And even if an officer does get inside, they can't leave. How will you shut up about your stupid haunted house theory? One good solid battering ram to the front door and they can come and go as they please. Yeah, that's why they haven't done it yet. After what? How many days have you been in here? Yes, yes, uh... The real killer is still on the loose. Oh, sure. I suppose they knocked you out. Dressed you in their clothes. Put the machete in your hand. And cleverly hid while we discovered you. Something like that. Oh, please. Haven't you ever watched a horror movie? There's always someone who gets wrongfully accused of the killings. And whoever does the accusing is destined to be horribly, horribly murdered next. The hell kind of fantasy world are you living in? You're the killer. That's a proven fact. There's no way of denying it. What makes you think I killed Philip anyway? Oh, well, let me see. First, Jim and I are attacked by some huge guy in a, mach in a welding mask and apron with a machete, but managed to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and apron, unconscious next to Philip's corpse. When we took the mask off, lo and behold, it's you. Look, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, then let's hear your version. 
real killer tricked me. He made me put on this mask and apron. When he attacked me in gym, he was wearing a gray pinstripe suit. I suppose you lent it to him for the weekend. Touché. Philip tried to kill me first. Oh, I see. You killed Philip in self-defense. So I suppose when we burst into the living room and, and swung that machete at Jim and, I, and me, you were trying to swat a fly or something. I didn't do this last time, but let's just go through everything. I was possessed by the ghost. Oh, now that impresses me. Did you think of that all by yourself? It's the truth, I swear. Shut up. Just shut up. Go touch the idol in the, li in the trophy room. You'll see I'm not lying. What a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Go and check some stupid idol leaving you conveniently unguarded. Maybe I'll save that for plan B. They'll have to get to plan B since nobody's getting in here. Just go and have a look in the basement. There are two corpses down there, Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe. And take a look through those books I was carrying. There's a ghost here, I swear. Chilby, I'm not going to let you drag me into your lunatic fantasy. Just keep your mouth shut. Makes you think kill Philip anyway. And again, the ghost. Possess me just like it did when I killed AJ. What are you talking about now? The ghost! It talks to me late at night when no one else can hear. Trying to make me do things. Evil things. Shut up! It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have the blackouts. I'll wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. It's happened so many times now I can't count them. Shut up! Kill AJ. Kill Philip. Kill everyone. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm warning you! talking to me right now. It's saying, kill the bitch! You can break the window, kill the rotten bitch! Shut up! Keep away from me! I could break the window if I so wished. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the faces of every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry so hard I vomit several times. Sometimes I just want this nightmare to end. If death came right now, I'd welcome it. Oh God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie? Please? Oh, to hell with it. Have it, you psycho. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get all of them, but I, mi I missed the last one. Of course, I don't care enough to go back and get it. Pick the luck. Where'd Simone go to now? Go check on AJ. See how he's doing. He's still dead. Okay. Let's have ourselves a good wandering about. That's one dead Philip, alright. 
It's Philip. Someone ran him through with a machete. The worst part of it is that someone was probably me. I really would rather not touch him. It's a portrait of a skeleton in a blood-stained safari suit. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Looks more like a screaming ghost. Ooh. No sense in wandering about when I know exactly where I need to go. No one in here either. Where the hell is everyone? Trilby! Simone, before you say anything, I know you didn't really kill Philip or AJ. I figured you were trying to you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer! The guy in the welding mask. I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. And I can't find Jim anywhere. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh shut up about your ghost! There this isn't a ghost, it's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Speak of the devil. Do something! Oh god. Jim? Day five. He's. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, doesn't remember anything just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of half believe this possession thing right now. But in absence of a better suggestion, I guess I'll go along with it. Have you been going through those books I was carrying? Yes, and some texts on the occult. Apparently, if we want to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back to its old body. That'll make it quasi-mortal. It'll still be dangerous, but not unkillable. We'll have to find the body first. And to do that, we have to know who the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. Yes, I have a couple ideas about it myself. Right, well, the ghost is something to do with the disappearances of Roderick and Matthew Defoe, right? The deaths and disappearances all started after that. Agreed. So, what do you think? Um... I would go through all these, but... I don't want to make Trilby sound like an idiot by guessing these stupid answers. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here since it's day five now. And when we come back, day five. I'm the Blues 32. This is um, Five Days of Stranger. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.